All right, joining me now for the first edition of the 2017-18 NHL Coach's Corner is head coach of the NHL Knights, and that's Tom Kowal. And coach, just coming off a busy weekend here at hockey at the Revolution Ice Center. Good to have our guys back here in the building. Good preseason win on Friday against the Philadelphia Rebels in which your guys came away with a 5-1 victory with a lot of new talent out there on the ice. What stuck out to you as most impressive? Most impressive is we were, you know, anytime you step on the ice, you, you want to win the game. So, you know, we got, we accomplished that. We got some of our newcomers that never played junior hockey a game. And more importantly, whenever you can beat the Philadelphia Rebels, you know, it, I'll take that anytime I can get it. You know, that opportunity doesn't come around very often. But, you know, I, I, I'm very excited what I saw. You know, uh, Coach Andrew Whiteside and uh, Justin Shriver did a, a very good job recruiting, gave me guys that I uh, had, you know, the talent to work with. And, uh, you know, so the newcomers came in, did their job, showed what they could do, and, uh, you know, hopefully we'll, that will carry on to our game tomorrow, the exhibition game against Youngstown, and into the weekend for the home opener. Now, in that game, you know, it seems from a spectator standpoint, there was a lot of speed on the ice for your guys, not just the forwards, but the defensemen as well. Um, you know, we talked about it during main camp as, as a big uh, standout point uh, as term, in terms of what was showing up on the ice. Do you feel that translated pretty well over to some junior hockey action? No, I, I, you know, that's what I just said. The, the guys that went out and recruited this year, uh, those are the guys we drafted. Tenor. We wanted to we wanted to add more speed to our lineup. Um, you know, I mean, with all these, you know, penalties being, you know, more severe and, you know, the safety of the game, which, you know, I, I agree with. You know, you don't want players getting hurt. So we, they've kind of taken away the, the physical part of the game a little bit. And when that happens, you got to have speed and play hockey. So at the end of the day, I was very happy with the speed we got. Um, I actually want to see a little bit more, but then again, they were trying, you know, there's a lot of things that was going on there. You know, they were getting that first game, and obviously we didn't play a lot of our veterans that, or, you know, and that's a lot of our speed that we have in our lineup right now. So, well, hopefully the, the speed part carries over. Very happy with what I saw, but, you know, that's only the first game, and that's exhibition. When the, you know, when the chips are on the table, we're going to have to have that same performance. And now while the rules are changing, you guys still do have some big, stronger bodies here, both in the forward lines as well as in the, in the defensive group. Uh, but, you know, guys like Reed Robinson, Mike Gillette, veterans coming back, Cairo Milenoff uh, coming in as a new player has impressed thus far, and then some of those big defensemen. Uh, what value does that, playing that physical style of hockey, uh, while still within the rules, play within your lineup? Well, anytime you got speed, you got to have some meat and potatoes. you got to have some muscle to, to balance out those lines. You know, I mean, it's, you know, Hockey still is a physical game. It's still a contact sport. You got to be able to battle in the corners. You got to be able to to battle in, in front offensively and defensively. So you, you can't just go complete speed. So we uh, we feel very fortunate to have some uh, some muscle in our lineup right now. Uh, you know to kind of feed off our speed a little bit. And you put the two together. You know usually if you can do a pretty good job, you can get some good chemistry going and uh, score some goals and. Uh, win some hockey games. Now you guys are one of the earlier teams starting your regular season with uh, in the Null. Um, you guys have a home opener against the New Jersey Titans on Friday. Uh, what benefit does that give you in terms of just evaluating your roster but also getting your guys familiar with one another? You know, I mean, exhibition is one thing, Tim, but when you when you play, when two points are on the line and that score is going to be blasted all over the website tomorrow, that, that, that score is going to be, you know, it's going to, you know, actually points are being awarded. Someone's going to be in first place. Someone's going to be in second place when we wake up Saturday morning. Um, you know, so fortunately we, we play these two exhibition games. Get those butterflies out of the way. You know, we'll have two exhibition games. We'll have two regular games under our belt going into Blaine. Uh, obviously, Blaine's a big showcase. Uh, we, we bring all our teams there. Uh, everyone's very excited about that. That's the first real, yeah. you know, junior event. Yeah. And, you know, I'm going to have butterflies going in. So. I can't expect the players not to have any, but if we can limit those butterflies well, by the time we go into Blaine with these two regular season games, uh, the better off we'll be when we get to Minnesota. And Minnesota's coming up fast. It's the Blaine Showcase, you touched on it already. It's a big deal, obviously, within the world of hockey. Uh, but just any advice you give these guys already, more the newcomers than the veterans, uh, but as they head to their first showcase, what kind of words of wisdom do you give them? You know, it, it's still hockey. You know, everyone's putting on their gear the same way. Go have fun. You know, I mean, the biggest thing we as a staff, we've been instilling into our, our players that we have in camp right now is you, whatever you did to get here, keep doing it. That's what we liked. 
That's what got you here. That's what kept you, you know, around in the camp, to, you know, to, <clears throat> to, to end training camp and start the regular season in the lineup. So go do it. You know, I mean, it's hockey's a fun sport. You know, as soon as you learn the, you know, or you lose the passion of hockey, you're not going to be a good hockey player. So we've been really instilling just to have some fun. Um, of course, winning is fun, yeah. but more importantly, just be a hockey player. Make plays. Don't you know? Be who you are, and uh, everything will. You know, when you go to bed at night, it'll be. Uh, you know, you can really go to bed thinking that you had a good day at the at, at the rink, whatever rink we're playing at at that time. Now, and if you'd like to catch the Knights before they head out to Minnesota for the Blaine Showcase, they will be playing at home here at the Revolution Ice Center on Friday, September 15th at 7.30 p.m. You can call in advance to order tickets at 570-883-1100 or email info at revolutionicecenter.com. Keep in mind that center is spelled with the R-E at the end, not the E-R, as well as check out the Knights news and all things Knights happening online at www.wbsnights.com as well as our Instagram Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube accounts. Just type in the WBS Hockey, or WBS Knights Hockey, excuse me, uh, to find all the latest happenings. Until then, though, we will uh, wish you the best of luck here, Coach. We appreciate you giving us a few minutes, and we uh, will hope to see you and hear from you soon this weekend. Looking forward to it, Tim. Thank you very much.